of the boat. I can see what you're doing. Oh, that guy's run the riverboat phones. tour. There's nobody watching your Facebook Live up there. I saw that. <laughs> well, we also have to come under this bridge. This is the Presa Street Cast Iron Bridge. It's absolutely filthy. So its nickname is Don't Touch It. <laughs> but you can leave your head out of the boat for a free haircut. <laughs> or you end up leaving the boat with one less child. You can walk away after that. Okay, I'm assuming we're keeping the children because they're young enough. You can still claim them on your taxes. <laughs> well, since everyone is still here, the next part of your ride, it's this tiny island I'm pointing at. It has two little benches on it. This is Marriage Island. It got its name because the island itself is in the shape of a heart, naturally, out of that cypress tree's roots. We have over 400 weddings a year on Marriage Island, and well over 2,000 proposals. Now, in case you were wondering, this is Divorce Island on the other side. <laughs> You don't want to know the statistics of that one. So, we'll talk about that tower. You took a picture of It's on the boat's left-hand side. If you still can't see it, try the other left. There you go. You're looking at the Tower of Life. The Tower of Life got its name from the life insurance company that owns it. Built in 1929, 500 feet tall, at the top of this tower, you can see gargoyles sticking out of all of the corners. And because of the gargoyles, this tower might look familiar if you've seen the movie Ghostbusters. Oh. Oh. That's not this tower. <laughs> that one's in New York. <laughs> but this tower actually has something better than ghosts. Look right above the trees here on the first floor and look at where the orange lights are shining. You can see ugly faces carved on this tower staring back at you. They're underneath the second set of windows for those of you that look very, very confused. Yes. Now these ugly faces are called grotesques. Both gargoyles and grotesques are meant to ward away evil spirits from top to bottom of the entire tower. Now what you might not know is the Tower of Life. It's an optical illusion building. Its illusion is it looks like a giant ship that's about to hit us. To see the illusion, you're gonna wanna look behind me and I'll set the mood for you. <laughs> yeah, you get the idea, yeah. Well, the illusion of the ship is cool, but I told you about it to distract you. In downtown San Antonio, if you don't pay to park your car, your car will get towed. And when the city tows your car, look down there. Because they give your car's horn to all of the boats on the river. Those are the boats that got new horns this morning. Mine was one of them. The one that I have. <laughs> This one was taken from a Toyota Corolla. Did <laughs> <laughs> you want to hop in on this? Okay. Nice. 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 But we hop the horn for a reason. Yeah, we have just time. entered the least wrecked section of the Riverwalk. This is the main channel, and people don't walk around here because of the river itself. You see, that part of the river is five feet deep max this part of the river is 24 feet deep this is the san antonio river the same river that ends in the gulf of mexico over 300 miles behind us 
Now, speaking of behind us, I want you guys to look behind our boat and look at the bridge as we're leaving it. If you look towards the top, you can see some metal on this bridge. Those are locks. That's Love Lock Bridge. Now, it works just like the one in Paris. They say if you visit Love Lock Bridge with your partner and with a lock, you write your initials on the lock. Lock it. Take the key. Throw the key in the river. Then you're destined to be together forever. Let's get the one bridge. Yeah. Well, I have four locks up there. <laughs> you know why? They were combination locks. They don't have a key. They don't count. Now. As we're coming around this corner, you're gonna see a ginormous cypress tree that's lit up. That is the oldest piece of history on the entire boat ride. This tree is estimated to be over 400 years old. Jeez. That makes this tree older than the city of San Antonio itself. San Antonio turned 300 in 2018. Now we're going to re-enter the shallow sections of the Riverwalk that are five feet deep max. And I noticed a lot of you, instead of looking at the historical cypress tree, you were doing this. <gasps> Fire! I, I get it. Yeah. That is a tiki bar. That speed is Pirates of the Caribbean. It's not historic, so I have nothing else to say about it. However, the bar right next door, it is historic. This tiny looking house on the boat's right is the oldest bar on the entire river. Opening in 1933, five minutes after Prohibition ended with a fully stocked bar, we're leaving behind the Esquire's Tavern. That's now, as we're passing it, you're going to notice some more boats straight ahead. That is because there are three locations on the river walk to get the boat rides from. The only difference is if you get picked up at this one, at the end of your ride, they drop you back off at this one. Now, as you're passing the pink boat, I want you to look above it to that balcony on the boat's right. As we're passing it, you're going to see something golden up there. That is an Aztec goddess head sticking her tongue out at you. We're looking at the Aztec Theater's VIP mm -hmm. balcony. The Aztec Theater opened in the 20s as a silent black and white movie theater. Nobody would pay money for that nowadays. So nowadays they use the Aztec Theater as a concert venue and a comedy hall. Now, if you're wondering why there are so many people on this bridge, this is the most famous bridge on the Riverwalk. Selena's Bridge. The Tejano music star, Selena Pintania Perez, got secretly engaged to be married on that bridge in 1992. Meanwhile, Jennifer Lopez, who portrayed Selena in the 97 movie, she got engaged everywhere else. Yeah. But for the three weeks J-Lo was filming the movie here, she stayed in the hotel on the boat's left. This is the Hotel La Mansion. It's a Mexican-style mansion hotel, and it is one of only four hotels on the entire Riverwalk with balconies. Now, I'm going to slow us down because the La Mancio is on the boat's left. I want you to continue looking to the boat's left and get ready to look all the way up. There's one more optical illusion building. And there it is. Now, this building's illusion is it looks like a freestanding wall 
that is 26 stories high. You're looking at the Mix Hospital. Or at least it used to be, since I hope you noticed. The building has no lights on. The Mix Hospital opened in 1930. However, after 90 years of service, the Mix Hospital found out about the pandemic in 2020. And right before the lockdown, the hospital packed up and they left. The building has just sat there for four years. Until now, the old Mix Hospital, it's reopening as a hotel. And when you think that's gross, the restaurant under the old hospital, Bubba Gump's Seafood, was the original location of the hospital's morgue. The first 76 years, the hospital was open. The popcorn shrimp is really good in there. And would you look at that? The only jazz bar on the Riverwalk. Now, as we're leaving the jazz bar behind, we have just entered the most popular section of the Riverwalk. What is it? No, it's this part, but do you know why? Picture created by a local San Antonio artist. Now, as we're leaving it behind, there's something about this river you probably don't know. The fact that the city of San Antonio drains this river like a bathtub every other year to clean it. Now, they drain the river in two different sections. The deep sections in the main channel they just did in January and the shallow sections that we're writing on. The last time they drained this section was in 2022. And when they did, they found one item at the bottom of the river, more than anything else. You think it's money? What is it? A body. Who's mom? Who's mom? Who's mom? Who's mom? Who's mom? Little boy that looks like uh, Carl from The Walking Dead. <laughs> okay, he said bodies. Okay, check your life insurance policy. Okay. But no, it wasn't bodies, and it also wasn't phones, glasses, hats, keys, money, jewelry, trash, or Mexican food. It was the electric scooters. The oh. Now, most of those scooters wound up in the river by being thrown in from bridges. While I don't recommend that you do that, the people that clean the river, the city only gives them one rule. Finders keepers. Anything they find while they clean, they get to keep. That includes wallets full of money, expensive jewelry like engagement rings, and your mom, son. If they find your mom, <laughs> they get to keep her. Okay. Now we'll talk about the statue behind our boat in just a moment. But first, we have to pass my least favorite boat location. Mm. Now please remember that the only difference is if you get picked up here, you get dropped off here. But this location is my least favorite partly because of this obnoxious echo, uh, partly because of the birds that call the bridge home. Uh -huh. and have really, really good aim, by the way. <laughs> but the main reason this boat location is my least favorite, it is right next door to the second largest mall in the city. Uh -huh. Surrounding our boat right now at a little over one million square feet. This is River Center Mall. 
for the center opened in 1988. And if you have somehow avoided the mall, I'm gonna give you some examples of things you can do for fun here. Like if you look in front of our folk on the first floor of the mall, through the glass windows, those poles and wires right there in the corner, that's a trampoline park. Um, Unfortunately, okay. right oh, okay. somebody thought it was a good idea to put that trampoline park that in the food court right in front of Taco Bell. Um, as you can assume, something happens there often. And if watching what happens there is not entertaining for you, I get it. No worries. Look behind our boat and look up to the third floor. That colorful metal on the ceiling, that's a zip line. And that zip line is for adults and for children. The mall also has two movie theaters, an aquarium, the Legoland Discovery Center, and 128 retail stores. Now, what you guys might not know is the boats take off you know, every that, that 15 minutes. Match. The only reason we didn't wait 15 minutes is because the boat got full first. But if we have to wait 15 minutes before we leave, that means people at this boat location have to wait 15 minutes underneath the birds we've nicknamed sharpshooters. <laughs> I don't recommend looking up as we pass by again. But you can start looking at that statue. We didn't talk about it before, so we're going to talk about it as soon as we exit the Echoing Bridge. Now, if you've been looking at that statue long enough, you can tell that that statue is a woman. And because we're coming up from behind her, I know what you're looking at. That is not Kim Kardashian from behind. <laughs> her name is Stargazer. Now, Stargazer just celebrated her second birthday being on the Riverwalk last Wednesday. She's made out of volcanic rock that came all the way from Mexico City besides the star itself, which is hand-carved marble. Now, I am going to slow us down here. If you didn't take a good picture of the Tower of Life building earlier, you can try again now. But we're going to talk about a different tower, the tallest tower in the city. It's located right back here, where my finger is pointing. In between these trees, you can see the Tower of Americas. It's the tallest tower in the city at 750 feet tall. That entire upstairs section spins. The elevators don't get stuck anymore. And there goes a restaurant at the top of the tower, if you're assuming that restaurant serves Mexican food. They don't. No. It's a chart house, so they have steak and seafood. Man, that's really good. But before we go back in the Barbie girl tunnel I don't talk in, in case you were wondering, people fall in this river a lot. And one of the main reasons why is if you look around, you'll notice you see that? we that's don't insane. have great lakes. To stop you. Now, we don't have railings on the Riverwalk for two reasons. One, because it's funny. And then two, <laughs> the city thinks railings would make the Riverwalk look tacky or ugly. For over 60 years now, the city has denied every request to put railings up here on the Riverwalk. Oh, and good luck, my co worker talks to this time. Thank you. 
Pharaoh's call me out. Now you know why I don't talk in that tunnel. <laughs> You're welcome. Now thankfully we are out of the tunnel and I highly recommend to looking around your seats to make sure nothing has fallen out of your pockets or out of your bags. You all either write it. We are back where we started. And if you leave the boat and you realize you accidentally forgot something on board, find your keepers. It's mine. My only exception to find your keepers, children. I think your children like that. Sorry. I'll keep your mom. I want to save her from you because you talk about bodies. <laughs> Guys, I also want to thank you for trusting me, a complete stranger.